Meanwhile, new reaction this evening to surveillance video of that deadly tent collapse in Wooddale. Pictures obtained exclusively by CBS2 just moments before the storm hit. And truck driver Stephen Ninsick was killed. Pictures his widow says she was shocked to see. Our Derek Blakely has more. Attorney Lou Cairo today. This is when they're walking out right here. Taking another look at the moments just before the Wooddale tent collapse captured on security video. At 2.50 p.m., visitors still calmly walking in. Then, just a minute later, with the storm fast approaching, Stephen Ensick, his wife, and two daughters are leaving, but they're redirected by police, told to take cover under the tent. His widow, Nicole Ninsick, reacting to the new pictures today. She was shocked to, to, to see it because she literally watched herself and her husband and her, and her two daughters walking out of the grounds. By 2.53 p.m., dozens flee as strong winds and rain pummel the grounds. Around the same time, at 2.53, the tent is up. Then it's collapsed by the 60-mile-an-hour winds. Stephen Densick struck and killed by a collapsing tent pole. His widow still struggling to understand law enforcement's actions. She just kept reiterating the same question. Why did they tell us to go under the tent? Why didn't they just let us leave? For Cairo, the new video underlines his charge that the town's evacuation plan was never followed. An appropriate evacuation plan would have told these police officers that the absolute last place you'd want to ever direct anybody to go to would be underneath this tent. Wooddale's evacuation plan for Prairie Fest called for moving the crowds inside the town's junior high school building just 500 feet away. Once again, those steps were never taken. CBS2 reached out to Wooddale's spokesperson for some comment on that newly released video, but we've received no response. Robin Kate. So the decision they made, they could have sent them to their car, apparently where they were going, their vehicle, or to the high school, but mm -hmm. instead they went to the tent. Yeah, everyone we talked to, uh, because we've been covering this story for some time now, even tent manufacturers say the worst place you can be in a storm like that is underneath a tent. Mm. All right, Derek, thank you.